Greetings and si greetings, citations. Um, yeah, I'm kind of not as cheery as I normally am, to be perfectly honest with you, because of something that I alluded to last time. But when I dug a little deeper, it pissed me off. I'm gonna be real, real. Real, real, la, 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 la. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. It, honest to God, irritated me. To see this go on. I mean, it's nothing new, mind you. But, it's still irritating all the same. <coughs> <coughs> the whole, believe all women mantra and women can never lie mantra has gone way too fucking far and it's gone as far as well destroying the lives of many a men i'm not kidding then again i would never joke about this kind of thing to begin with because it's kind of a distasteful thing to joke about in my opinion but that aside I hate hate the whole listen and believe mantra it's too easily abused and can very easily create a witch hunt and I'm not just talking in terms of Donald Trump or supporters or what have you I'm talking anything and a witch hunt, a something akin to an accusation of being a witch, just the accusation alone can cost you like that. That is why it's called a witch hunt, specifically. And to get into the brief, I'm sorry, to briefly get into the history about that. <coughs> <coughs> If you're accused of being a witch, back in the olden days, it was game over. Right at that second. Because the mindset was, if you're a witch, you would die. If you survived, you're a witch. And that means you must die. So, based on the accusation alone, you're put on the chopping block. That mentality absolutely irks me to my fucking core. And it's asinine how this mentality is allowed to stay within the mainstream and is allowed to be maintained. It's like maintained. But I, you can tell how frustrated I am. Now, I bring this up specifically because this is what's going on with Chugga Conroy and how he's kind of facing allegations right now. Now, before I get into that, I kind of want to set the stage a little bit and bring up a quote directly from him. Okay? I could have sworn I had this. Oh, there it is. I just hit the wrong... I didn't want to bring up a quote directly from Chuck O'Connor himself. Take a listen to this. And I want to make this clear. No one person ruined this game. As much as people love to find a face for their dartboard. You want to know who said this game? That right there. I'm sorry. That, that, that was a little bit delayed for some reason. But let me just go over that one quote once again. And would be incredibly challenging to work with. And I want to make this clear. No one person ruined this game as much as people love to find a face for their dartboard that right there that what he just said sets the tone for what i'm about to talk about perfectly as much as people love to find a face for their dartboard remember that as we go on <laughs> hi uh future Klaus here okay now i wanted to edit this in for my um, highlight, because I don't know if I say this later on, but um, 
I, if I haven't, well, I'm just gonna say this now. For one, the most common thing here, and to further set the stage, <clears throat> I have a serious problem with Twitter accusations. Especially given, well, when these Twitter accusations never bother going to the police about it. This is especially sketchy because if they had brought it to the police, they most likely, through the investigation and everything, would have found the suspect innocent. Although I kind of question that, especially since we've ushered in an era of guilty until proven innocent, which is a disgusting yeah, um, standard, quote unquote. This gets us into guilty until proven innocent. You know, the whole witch hunt mentality that I explained earlier. The most common motivation that I've noticed, maybe you saw something a bit different, maybe you can see a different motivation. This is entirely speculation. But, the accusation going straight to uh, Twitter, the most common uh, motivation that I found is it's done for the sake of clout. It's disgusting no matter how you slice it, honestly. The fact that you would be more than willing to ruin a man's life over clout, you're fucking vile. Just pure fucking vile. Anyway, on with the rest of the rant. Let's start with Chucky Conroy's, Chucky Conroy's tweet here by saying, Hey, I'm one to say I'm sorry to Emily and to you, our community. Apologies for my mistake and overstepping my boundaries of our friendship and causing her to hurt in the pro and causing her to hurt in the process. This will not happen again. I'd rather have time to collect my thoughts then react immediately. Now, as good as a sentiment as that is on the surface, I kind of have to say I'm disappointed in Chucky Connery here, especially, well, and we'll get into this momentarily, but I kind of don't like how he's bending the knee. Granted, it is the kind of decent thing to apologize if you've done something wrong, but I kind of don't think he did anything wrong in this matter. Now, this is what is being accused. Fuck it, just to get off my chest. Last year, Chuck Connery kept trying to get me to initiate an erotic foot fetish role play with him while also he, while he also had a girlfriend. This includes sending, sending me shoes in my house. Let me make this perfectly clear. Sending shoes at, to my house under the guise of being a gift. Only to constantly... I don't believe, honestly, for a second that this happened. Let's look over what she provided. And we're going to go over this bit by bit. So, like, do you have a P.O. box? Not at the moment, no. Oh, I was gonna... See if you can partake in birthday niceness. You see in a loading screen. Ah, according to this, I've done 54. Okay, sneaker size. Generally around, redacted. Give or take a little... Okay. So, this is coming off as... You know, a nice gesture. You know, he wants to buy her shoes as a um as a gift. Right here, nice sneakers. Lol, thank you. I need new ones to be honest. My everyday pair is starting to see some damage. Seems sadly typical due to thin fabric. The entire conversation from here has been about shoes. Nothing about erotic. Foot fetishes, foot fetishes in the fucking first place. 
How does this in any way imply a sexual fetish? It doesn't! Seems sadly typical due to thin fabric. Has nothing to do with her feet in any way, shape, or form, but what goes on her feet. You know, the shoes. Oh, and right here. A selfie on repeat. There's something I'm ashamed to have on here, but it's probably not the one you're thinking of. The compliment was directed towards her shoes specifically. And she said right here. Now we're getting into the, into this right right directly. Fuck, okay, I'm just going to get off my chest. Uh, no, he didn't. Yes. I am going to be defending Chugga Conroy on this one. <clears throat> and this tweet right here. As far as I know, I'm not the only one nor the first person he's telling this to. With your, with your evidence. But let's take a look at this. Let us take a look at this. That's what I thought too. Lol. I was like, I could fix this, but it's funnier if it's flawed. At times, I do miss the veracity of the old avatar. Is that the face you'd make if I ran off with your shoes at a con? Well, Mal, something like that. <laughs> what would you even do? This comes off as lighthearted and jokey. Like, I'm gonna steal your shoes! Ha ha ha! Isn't this funny? Oh, not exactly. Yeah, being forty to you because I'd rather not keep anything from you is like the best decision for you. Okay. Well, only with my significant other. I just also like talking about shoes with other people because it's an interest. I talked about my significant other. Almost misread that for a second, but I caught myself. About this when we started dating. And she told me I can talk about shoes with other people because it isn't sexual with my friends. This alone should have exonerated Emil in the court of public opinion. Right here. I can talk about shoes with other people because it isn't sexual with my friends. How anyone can talk about this like it's a sexual fetish is beyond me. And there's even, there's more to this. There's more to this. Good. Glad we can understand each other. Oxid behind you and trips you with some fancy footwork. <laughs> yeah. There's even some uh, DMs that she provided. Let's take a look at those, shall we? Hang on just one second. I could have sworn I... Oh, there we go. This is the DMs that um, she sent and is using as evidence, quote-unquote. Let's take a look and read that verbatim. And, yep, he's even going as far as to show, yep, she didn't unfriend him. Like, that's her prerogative, but... Let's take a look at these DMs, shall we? Okay, well, I'll figure something out. Not sure if you have any dislikes for me to be aware of. I'm sure whatever you get me, I'll like. Haha, <laughs> how nice of you. Haha, <laughs> of course. So, like, what are you feeling about Zelda? I'm personally loving it. I think it was a bit better than Breath of the Wild. The context here being the get this is about Tears of the Kingdom. So, connecting the, this to this, I don't see how that's derailing, this is going back to this. I'm saying some stuff today, I had to plan A, 
couldn't because your feet were too damn big. So I went with a different idea. Cool. I'm excited to see what it is. Thank you so much. Wow. You uh, took uh, what I said surprisingly well. Lamel, I know my feet are big. It's a thing. I'm curious what plan A was. <laughs> oh, really? Is that the, a thing you joke about? <laughs> I mean, it's not something I advertise, but it's kind of a fact of life. <laughs> That's a fair stance on the issue. I'm lucky I'm a 12, one size bigger, and no shoe stores carry my size. That right there. That right there. He was planning on buying her shoes. And as we've established earlier, Shunka Conroy said himself, it's not anything sexual. Honestly, I don't understand why people think feet is a fetish to begin with, or why people fetishize feet. But let's keep going. Haha, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's lucky. I'm lucky that HRT made my size shrink, which is very, very rare. So as you can tell, this is actually about the shoes. This wasn't a guise of the shoes. And there's even more DMs right here. This is intended, intended to prove that this was Chugga Conroy that she was talking to. Chugga Conroy is blocked for whatever reason. So this starts off by talking about his video of um, Pokemon Black and White. Alright. I would say because, well, she goes by way too quickly for anybody to actually reasonably read it. I remember meeting him in 09 at a con. Yeah, so I had dinner once with a mutual friend and wore leather pants and talked about how he, how hot he is. Yeah, that tracks. Anyway, I'm surprised he never played black and white before now. It has such a reputa reputation as the last good one among the fans. This is where he gets into Pokemon black and white. Specifically, and the um, overall reputation it has. It's just how expensive these games get. I think my show of DS Pokemon games alone would be two thousand plus dollars if I resold them because they would never re release anything but the first game. Which he has a solid point. And she gets to do her experience with the game, finish the second gym. Which, if I remember correctly, is a normal type gem. It makes it kind of <coughs> sticks out in my mind because of the move Retaliate. Like she's mentioning here. That Retaliate move, it's such a fun experience, and I love Pokemon designs and animations. I think we all do. I don't know. Seems like an industry wide practice of never release anything. It kind of is, actually. But moving on. <clears throat> this goes on for a little while. I'm going <clears> to <throat> re-release this as a um as a highlight so you can pause and read this for yourself, but this goes on for a while, messages going back and forth. And at this point, this gets into the Pokémon anime. Nothing fetishy even at this point. Hey, it's very strange. The show, not sure if it wants us to feel bad for a spike or not. <clears throat> now, given all this aside.
She even goes as far as to say this, and this is kind of what I want to end this topic segment on. <clears throat> While I'm not sure if I fully accept, I do wish you the best in growing from this. I find the farming of... <laughs> I find the framing of this as a simple mistake concerning, so far, talked about half a dozen women who shared similar stories. Now, it's funny how you mention um, other women, but you don't even go as far as... But you don't even go as far as to even mention who they are. Oh, I'm sorry. I got I kind of got too deep into my rant. Bob Brockerson, welcome. Thank you for joining the broadcast. How's it going, buddy? I came here. The first thing you hear is about the Pokemon anime. What's wrong with the boy Ketchup? I'll, I'll have the um, highlight posted on YouTube, so if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see what this entire topic was about. Finally, be pulled the Pokemon League with the mini battle attempts. Yes, you did, but going back to the subject at hand. I find it interesting, Emily, how you make another woman, but you don't even mention one outside of yourself. <clears throat> Which makes me further believe that Chucky Connery is innocent of what you accuse him of. And the fact that you would only go into conversations about shoes and nothing beyond that context makes me think you're making this whole thing up. Which further goes into why I cannot stand the listen and believe mentality and why this is a witch hunt from the very beginning. Well, I don't like the fact that... Um, Chugga bent the knee to all this and didn't defend himself. I truly believe he is acting in earnest. So, I can't exactly fault him too much on that. But, like... <clears throat> we have the standard of innocent until proven guilty for a reason. I'm sorry about this heavy-handed topic, but this is something I had to get off of my chest, and I needed to speak up about, and I just couldn't stay quiet about. And I felt Chugga was deserving of some defense here. <clears throat> 